You know, I absolutely love working with SunWire. It's a young, dynamic, forward-thinking company with unsurpassed natural health products and an unlimited future. The demographic of our average customer is young, active, health conscious, driven, and slightly more females than males. Now I want to depart from that young part for a moment. I'm a card-carrying member of a huge club now known as the Baby Boomers. I assure you that it's not by choice. It just means that we were born between 1946 and 1964, and in the United States now, there are almost 80 million of us. In reality, I guess none of us should resent getting older because it's a privilege denied to so many. There is so much to look forward to as you age, like watching your children grow and succeed, playing with your amazing grandchildren, more flexibility and independence, travel and even hobbies. I have found that I sometimes don't know how to act my age because I've never been this age before. With all the good things to look forward to in the approaching golden years, there are also some liabilities like receding gums and hairline, visual squinting, asking others to repeat things that they just said, and having to visit the bathroom multiple times during the night. And frankly, these are the easy stuff. Did you know that baby boomers are 13 times more likely to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? And they have sig significantly higher rates of cardiovascular disease and all types of cancer, depression. And by age 80, 50% have cataracts, osteoporosis, and osteoarthritis. From our earliest years, lifestyle choices have long-term ramifications for our health. This is particularly true for our joints. Osteoarthritis is caused by a breakdown of the cushioning tissues in the joints, causing swelling, stiffness, inflammation, and pain as the bones rub together. A minimal amount of arthritic change is normal through the years due to wear and tear, but much can be done to minimize the degree and symptoms as well as maintaining function. There are some sensible things that you can do starting when you're young that will help keep your joints doing what they're designed to do, move without pain. Joints are made for motion. They're meant to be used. However, there's a real difference between use and abuse. Too much weight loading and pounding on the joints is damaging and will have a cumulative effect. Low impact, full range of motion activities aid with circulation, help to transport nutrients in and toxins out of joint capsules, and strengthen the support of soft tissues. Walking, swimming, yoging, and Pilates are examples of joint-friendly activities. Dirt biking, MMA fighting, bucking bronc, and bull riding, maybe not so good. Interestingly, diet may be more important in slowing the arthritic change in the long run than most people realize. Not only do foods provide the basic building blocks for our joint tissues, but they have a dramatic effect on inflammation in the body that actually degrades joint cartilage. Inflammatory foods are those that are fried and processed, animal products including dairy, excess salt, sugar, refined carbohydrates, and soda. Whereas foods that are anti-inflammatory and that increase the health of joint tissues are antioxidants and bioflavonoids contained in fruits and vegetables, beta carotene in the red, orange, and yellow plant foods, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, D, and calcium, nutritional supplements of glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, and SAMe are cartilage friendly. Once there is injury or arthritic changes already occurring, there are still steps that you can take that will mitigate the damage. The first response when there is inflammation or swelling is to use ice in 20 minute applications, followed 48 to 72 hours later by equal length sessions of mild heat. There are topical creams and ointments that have analgesic and thermotherapy qualities. There are over the counter meds that are mild analgesic and anti-inflammatory that should only be used sparingly. Other non-invasive approaches to joint pain and improve function are modalities such as acupuncture, physical therapy, chiropractic, electrotherapy, and laser treatment. As an absolute last resort should be surgery and joint replacement, but take it from one who knows firsthand, ain't nothing like the real thing.